some of you guys know I am doing train automation on my layout um, I'll show you guys where I'm at I am currently doing speed profiling and brake calibration on some new stock that I'm putting into the system well they're not new trains I've just had them in storage for a while so I'll give you a quick rundown um, I'm doing a brake calibration on a particular engine and we're doing the unorthodox way of doing a brake calibration mainly because of the way these decoders are working and the way my layout is designed now um, I have been asked about questions about my pins as you can see here I've got the green one there got the green one there and a red one there and now there's also a grey one now the whole idea of that is um, the green one is the marker where the train is supposed to stop the red's going to be the signal and I want the train to stop in that distance the grey area they do not want or do not want a train to go past so here's one coming now now it's supposed to stop at the green marker but he can't go past the the signal and it's not breaking as you can see it's not doing properly so I'm gonna have to go and do some adjustments um, and it's stopped way past where I want it to stop at so now I'm gonna have to do the brake calibration again um, I'll show you what I've got to do as you can see here this is my speed profiling brake calibration so now what I've got to do is I'm going to make adjustments on the brake compensator I've got to increase that number so to have it stop where I want it to. Um, preferably about the green marker, but way before that signal. So I'm going to change that 60. I'm going to have to double that value to 120 and I'll give it another test run to see what happens. Okay, I've done the value to 120. We're going to run the train and see where she stops at. So the engine's coming into its section now. It's got a bit of a runoff. Now roughly about here it needs to start braking. And as you see she's slowing down. Now I'm hoping it's gonna stop at the green marker. And it's overshot it. And let's see if she stops at the red signal. No, she's overshot it too and we're still going into the grey area so I'm going to make a little bit more of adjustment because she's still stopped uh, way past where I wanted to so I'm going to make another adjustment and see how we go but this time I'm going to put the sound on so you guys can actually hear um, the difference in the sound when the engine starts to break so I've got a sound on this engine, it is the old uh, QSI from 2009. Here it is in the section. And you will hear it when she needs to decelerate, which is done now. Coming down the hill. You hear the braking in place now. And my adjustment is at 155 for the brake compensator. Let's see where she stops. Perfect. So that's where I want the stop. It's way before the signal. Um, the way the program is worked, um, all trains will stop within that green marker. Now I've got to do the same in reverse. Uh, calibrate it 
um, to stop on the other side. You'll see I have the same the same pin markers on the other side. For those who are asking about the gap I left between the green marker and the signal, or the stop marker and the signal, um, is 16 centimetres. What I have found with my other train calibrations, which are not so finicky as this one, um, they usually stop within this distance, particularly on this top part of my layout. So it's going to give me a buffer zone. Most of my trains that do run on here, they will stop anywhere between here and where my finger is now which is way before where the signal is going to be. So now I'm going to do the calibration for reverse. There is a bit of a grade there. And I'll have a stop somewhere between, oops, sorry, somewhere between the green marker and the red marker on the far side. Okay, so here she comes. She's coming up in the section now, she's going to go up the hill, start decelerating, starts braking, and we'll see where it back will stop, hopefully by the green marker. I'm a little bit past it. I'm hoping it's going to stop before the signal. And it just uh, it's a bit too far out, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the brake compensation to it. I've got to set it at 120, so I am going to set it to 135 and should stop in the middle of there somewhere. So I'll go and do that and we'll get back to it. So here she's coming back again, it's going to pass the signal into the section. It's going to go up the hill. She's always done to decelerate right there. Near the top of the band. Brakes have been applied. And let's see where she's going to stop at. Now I've done the brake compensation to 135 it should stop at the green marker oh, just before I might take five off it and I'll get us right on the spot one more try there we go we got it coming to the stop brace is set let's see where she's gonna stop at pretty close to where I wanted it so I'm going to leave it at that I'm going to do a couple of test runs in the other tracks up the top layer and I'll show you guys how it stops so here she is she's going to come on the inner main decelerating it's going to put on the brakes now it's got to stop close to this green marker here way short but I can still live with that um, as the main part this train is going to mainly be running on this track here so it stopped where it had to go I'm going to try it now on this line here and see where she stops yeah, now she's going to come in that little line there which I'm going to use as a refuge for the short freighters or passenger trains 
done a break now I want it to stop close to that green marker and I'm pretty happy with that um, which still gives me enough room for some carriages up behind it now I'm going to do it backwards and I'll show the results. You see running on the inner refuge. It's done a break a bit early there. Mind you there it is, a bit of a steep climb coming up into there. Only for a little period of time now it will be dropped in a foreseeable future. Not much I can do with that, it's not way before that marker, but um, the big problem there is with my grade on that line going into it, uh, you lose a bit of its momentum. I'm just going to have to live with it for the time being. Now I'm going to do the inner main and the outer main again. There, she's coming up the track that she'll normally be coming up at. Going up the grade. Start decelerating. We're going this way up the top. The brakes are set on. And let's hopefully we'll stop the green marker, which is just there, not far from the chicken. Yeah, again it stops short and because of the grey that's on that, on that track. Okay, back on the outer and we'll see how it goes. This is coming up on here for the last time. Decelerating. Breaking. And looks like she's going to stop where she initially stopped the first time we checked it. Yep. Okay, thereabouts. So I'm at with that, and I'm just going to go with that. Uh, I'm going to now bash it up with the other two engines I wanted to run with. And uh, keep an eye out for that video because I am going to give my American trains a test run with the automation. Going to create a schedule for it. So until then, have fun.